All right, guys, I'm here out in the rain. As you know, I'm making a few videos today because this is the only day off that I have and that I'm out home able to come out to the garden while there's daylight. So I definitely wanted to show you guys this side of the house before full um, winter hits. As you can see, my weeping mulberries have dropped all their leaves, um, both of them and it's getting ready to go dormant. There's a few leaves left on them, but it's definitely going dormant and I'm sure that all my plants are enjoying this rain because it has a lot of nitrogen and nutrients um, compared to the rest of the water that we provided with. This is my other mulberry. It still has its leaves, so I'm curious to know how, long, how much longer it's gonna hold its leaves. As you can see, some of them are already going yellow my Laura Bay is doing amazing. I might have to repot that into a bigger pot. And let's see here. I might have to get in here pretty soon because the rain's coming down pretty good. This is my other weeping mulberry. As you can see, it's dropped all its leaves, getting ready to go dormant. Hopefully um, set some buds, some little buds. You can see them right there. And give me tons of fruit next year like I did this year. If you haven't seen the videos on all the fruit I took off this tree, I'm going to link it right above so you guys can see how much fruit one little tree provides. <laughs> Alright guys, here is the, uh, my pomegranate. This was supposed to be growing aspillare and as you can tell, I haven't had much time to train it well. But it's okay, it's about to go dormant as well and when it goes dormant I'll be able to see what branches look promising and which branches I should cut and which branches I should tie down towards that fence. That way it could be growing a little bit more as filler. Here is my other pomegranate. I feel so bad for this little tree. It was so ready to produce tons of fruit. As you can see, there's one on the ground and I neglected it so bad. And although they are um, drought tolerance, they need water, especially because this one's in a container. You can tell the difference between this one that's in a container that I didn't give it as much water as it needed to during the weeks that I was busy. Um, so the leaves dropped off a lot sooner. The fruit that was setting didn't really um, produce. I mean, they, I mean, there was a few that I neglected to come out here to even harvest because I was so busy. But as you can see, this one's in the container and I neglected it. It didn't have enough water. It's, it's still alive, but it didn't do as well as it could have been. This one is in the ground and even though uh, I didn't water it as often. You can see that it's still thriving and it still has leaves. So eventually it will go dormant. You can also tell that some of the leaves are going yellow because they're about to start dropping. But there you go. This is a perfect example in comparison of what the difference is when you take care of something or at least provided the adequate water compared to something you to another plant that you don't necessarily provide the care that it requires due to the fact that it's in a container. Like I mentioned in most of my videos, um, when you're growing things in container, the only resource that little plant or that little tree has is you. You are the resource that that plant has. So if you're not giving it the nutrients that it needs, it's not going to grab it from the same soil that it's been sitting in for weeks, months, or even years. Uh, if you're not giving it the water that it requires on a daily basis or weekly basis depending on the plant and how big the, si the size of the pot that it's in and how long it's been there. Uh, that's a whole nother video I can do for you guys because it, um, the, the type of plant that you have in a pot and the type of size that you have and the, how many years it's been in there, that's all going to dictate how much water and care it's going to require on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis. I'll do a separate video because I can go on and on and on about that. And this is not what this video is about, which I already went on a tantrum doing that. Anyways, guys, this is just a quick overview of what this side of my garden looks like. Um, despite my neglect, everything's looking pretty good. So I'm pretty excited that at least things survive. Um, obviously, I'm not going to get as much fruiting as I, sh as I normally get from my potted um, plants and trees. But that's okay. I mean... You win some, you lose some, and this is a year that I definitely um, didn't win in the garden, but definitely went somewhere else, won somewhere else in my life. So I'm pretty happy. Um, like I mentioned, my biggest concern was making sure that my plants didn't die. 
and I succeeded at that. I every chance I could, I was out here watering it. I <laughs> would pay my little my daughters to come out here and water them for me, and thankfully everything survived. Um, nothing died. Yes, they had a little bit of trauma, but nothing that they won't be able to recover from. So I'm super, super excited to share this side of my garden with you guys, to be out here in the rain, <laughs> and to be able to, um, to talk to you guys for a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you guys are staying warm and dry, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.